Are you ready for the word of God tonight? Yeah. Amen. We have a, a wonderful guest tonight. My oldest brother, George, is going to come minister for us. I heard he was in town. Uh, one of the things I, what I saw was he had a breakdown <laughs> on, on the interstate, uh, blow out on one of his uh, truck's tires as they travel throughout the country. And so I said, oh boy, he, he, he's coming in. So, so maybe we'll have him here for a few days and even have him here on uh, several of them and, of course, uh, the family here on Friday. But I thought, well, since he's in town, been preaching everywhere else, stirring up revival, how many, how many would be blessed to have him here tonight? So come on, George. Come preach the word and bless God's people. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Pastor. Welcome. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Praise God. Thank you. Greetings in Jesus' name. It's good to be with you. It's good to be with you. It's crazy out there. <laughs> uh, I got kind of stuck uh, from Gallatin on, the, on 109 coming this direction. <laughs> I tell you, these drivers, and, and most of them were women. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't. Gee. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Come on, we got to blame somebody. <laughs> Who else can we blame? <laughs> we never blame ourselves. But uh, it's the, uh, truly, it's indeed, it's, a, it's an honor to be with you this evening. And I, I thank God for your pastor that would always uh, uh, have me say something and do something. Uh, and, and we so appreciate it. Church is not easy. Uh, some, especially when you're the pastor. Somebody said he'd like to pastor a church with no people. <laughs> That's going to be difficult. But I tell, I tell you, it takes a special breed of a person to be a pastor. I believe that. Because uh, you've got to love people. And, and you know, <laughs> sometimes you don't even like yourself. So. <laughs> but, uh, but it takes the grace of God. I tell you, it takes the grace of God. And I, and I think, and not just because he's uh, my brother, but you have a great man as your pastor. You have a good man as your pastor. And, uh, and we appreciate it. I was thinking a little bit, Johan. Uh, it was a little... That, that was, what was he driving? Uh, that, that Pontiac or something? But uh, and we didn't have seat belts back then. <laughs> Can you believe how we made it? <laughs> no seat belts, no airbags. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and I recall that. His dad was driving, Johan was just a little three, four year old fella standing on the seat. And, and dad would all be praying and, and directions and ask God. And, and, and so divinely, sometimes he had to go to a place and then ask Johan, which way do I turn right? And turn and get to the place. And so from back, way back then, the hand of the Lord was already on this young man's life. Uh, tell you also, and I don't want to overrun myself, but even back then, I don't think. Uh, like, what do they have these days with when women are pregnant? They can go and they check and they already tell you in advance what the, the it's going to be boy or girl or whatever the case might be. Yeah, back then, way back then, there was nothing like that. But God spoke to my dad and said, his name must be Johan. Now, all of you know, all the brothers, we got kind of English names and Jewish names and stuff like that. And, and for this kind of a name, Johan, so like an Afrikaans name, a Dutch name. I was, it didn't sit well with many of people, but that's the name that God said, that's the name that you give him. And it's for a reason, amen? And so we, we, we're grateful. We are grateful to be with you this evening. And uh, uh, yes, we're just a handful, but I tell you, uh, I don't know where the others are, I guess, shopping. We'll find them at Walmart or somewhere. <laughs> Cecilia left home early this morning, 7 o'clock, and she got home about just about 5 o'clock this afternoon. So you can imagine I'm just messing. I'm, it's not really true. So, yeah. Don't believe everything that we say. <laughs> but I was laying as I was in bed a little bit there. During the night, I think about 4 o'clock, I woke up. And kind of awake. And, and was thinking, of, you Pastor asked me just to speak a little bit to you. And, and this thought came to me. Uh, just this little song. Uh, if that isn't love, remember that Dottie Rambo, if that wasn't love or whatever, it is love that brought him here. 
love. We'll, we'll most probably do that little song Sun, uh, Friday whenever, uh, if you'd have us. Amen. May I talk to you just for a little bit? And uh, I was thinking of this uh, text that I'd like to read with you and, and share a little bit of the Word of God with you. Uh, from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9. And I believe it's verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Uh, yeah, I hope that's the King James Version. Because that's the one that Jesus used. <laughs> uh, they, there's a lot of new translations and they, they, they sound good. But I still like the King James. Uh, I guess it's from the old school, whatever. But... Uh, Give me just a little second there. I just had it here. I, it's on the board there, but I just want to see if this is a, a King James Version. It doesn't really matter. It's the Word of God. Isaiah chapter 6, if you would. And uh, then uh, at least chapter 9, verse 6. I apologize. I apologize. Chapter 9 and then verse 6. Hmm. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, and the increase of his government and peace shall be no end. And upon the throne of David, upon unto his kingdom and in order to order it and to establish it with judgment and justice from henceforth even forever. Father, bless your word for the love of the zeal of the Lord hath spoken. A host spoken will perform it. Uh, I, I was thinking just want to talk to you briefly about his name is wonderful. Yes. Yes. His name is wonderful. You know, uh, some of you have been with us and just come back from Israel. And what an exciting tour that was for me. Uh, to be honest, I've never really had a desire to go that direction. Never. And then Mandel and Pastor Johan cornered me. And they kind of threatened me. You know? <laughs> and so, but I tell you, it has been a life-changing experience for me. And, and if you've never gone that direction, most probably not. God willing, should he tarry? Not next year, most probably, as you said, most probably the year 2021. 20, uh, most probably would love to go back, and I'd like to take Cecilia with me and two of my boys, Warren and Grant Ross. And, and, and I challenge anybody uh, to join us. Some of you that have been with, you had your chance. You're not going again, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm going to show you some pictures of, uh, what is this one here? There was a fish in the... <laughs> Anyway, anyway, but it was a phenomenal time. And, and we were sh when we were sharing some of the stuff, I mean, thousands and thousands of people uh, roaming the streets and, and, and pushing you out of the way. And it's, uh, it's almost like a fight will break out, whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's how they move and press. And uh, you look at, you know, there's a lot of heathens in that part of the world, too. I mean, they, they don't believe in God. They, they're atheists. A Jewish atheists, There's a, 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 the Orthodox Jews, they don't believe in Jesus. Uh, they don't believe that he's the son of God. They're still waiting for the Messiah to come. I'm known to them. He has already come. Uh, we're expecting him too. They're expecting him, but we're expecting his second return. They expect him to come. And, and, and you see the Muslims. I mean, everybody is making a living. And, and we were discussing this thing. And it's all about Christ. If it wasn't for Jesus, that country would be bankrupt. <laughs> uh, if it wasn't for Jesus, we wouldn't be here either. Come on. <laughs> we turned this thing into some, I don't know what we'll turn this thing into. But because of Jesus, we are here. He's the reason. Amen. <laughs> and and uh, amen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, uh, and we almost got, uh, what's her name, Tali? We almost got her saved. <laughs> I tell you, it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Uh, 
But, but uh, I'm reading it verses. It says, for unto us a child is born. <laughs> mm. Can we just check here Matthew 1, 18? Matthew 1 and 18. Yeah. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was a spouse of Joseph, they came together before, yeah, before they came together. Uh, but we were there on the mountain and, and uh, uh, where the angel of the Lord, Gabriel, appeared unto Mary and said, you will uh, conceive. And, and, and I think somebody asked Jolene to read that verse of scripture. And I think those that are here that was there that, that day, it's, you know, I know it's almost 2,000 years ago that has passed and, and things have changed the, the way they build and whatever. But the presence of Almighty God swept on that hill. I tell you, and I, and I think I had to open my mouth and say, this thing is real. Yeah. Brother and sister, this thing is real. Yeah. It's real. It's real. It, it is difficult for a lot of people to understand how this thing ought to be. And, and then the, I've, I've spoken to a lot of people, a lot of Muslim people too, and they come up with this theory, somebody one day told me uh, that, uh, you know, uh, that uh, there's always, uh, I don't know where, you, where they pick up this nonsense, but uh, there are still uh, uh, young ladies that fall pregnant without knowing a man. Really? You know, how the devil plants seeds in people's hearts to believe this garbage. And, and, uh, and so they want to do away with this virgin birth. There was a fellow, I don't know if he's still, if he's still alive or if he passed on, Desmond Tutu, uh, the archbishop there in, 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 Afri in South Africa. He, ha he had this theory that he did not believe in the virgin birth. And there's a lot of people standing behind pulpits that does not believe in the virgin birth. But thank God we haven't seen, but we believe that, uh, amen, the, the, we believe in this virgin birth, amen. A, a, a child was born, hallelujah. And, and the, the thing is, he says, and unto us a son is given. A son is given. I tell you, girls are all right, but I tell you, when a boy is born, Lord, it, 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 the whole household gets excited about it. When there's a man child, come on, ladies. Uh, and so, uh, hallelujah. Uh, a son is given. Hmm. And he says, the government shall be on his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This thing really starts, this birth of Christ really starts in the book of Genesis. That's really where it starts. Huh? Uh, because Adam and Eve, that's where it started. When they, when they failed God. And... and uh, What does the scripture says is, uh, he will bruise, he will bruise his head, and, you, and he will bruise her the heel, and and so that's really where it all started. Because this thing was planned right from the foundations of the earth, right. right that's where it was planned, and and this Jesus man, uh, uh, my mind was running crazy a little bit as I was giving this thought, uh, and and I heard a little bit your your sermon, pastor, that you preached on the past Sunday. Uh, tremendous job that your pastor does and, and, and I was listening to, to some of the stuff that he was talking about I mean all these men that failed Abraham failed Isaac Jacob uh, the whole bunch failed a bunch of liars and cheats and everything and, and still God uh, worked through them here comes David uh, a man after God's own heart uh, my, this is a, a, a nutcase uh, he's a murderer and a, and a woman chaser come on now uh, and, and God still uses him and here comes Solomon on the, on the, on the, on the, on the scene and this is another uh, uh, nutcase I mean he's got women that you can't count uh, Lord help us uh, but through all this God used this, this, is, this is his lineage L look at uh, uh, this, this uh, uh, one that threw out the red uh, Rahab. Rahab. Rahab another man uh, and he comes through that lineage. And here the perfect son is being born. Perfect. No human intervention. 
is just a channel, a conduit through which he had to come. I remember a little story being told me about this man he never really wanted. He, he wasn't a Christian, but his wife and kids always loved going to church. And, and so uh, this in particular, uh, she asked him Christmas time, go with us to Christmas service. He said, no, I ain't wasting my time with this nonsense. Uh, this is, and she, this, you know, put the horse and they dragged this little sleigh through going to church and he stayed home. Beautiful log cabin he's got and big windows and he's sitting at the fireplace and he's reading the evening newspaper and he heard a, like something hitting the, the, the glass pane and, and, he, and he looked. It was birds that was trying to come in out of the cold into, this, into his beautiful house and he wondered to himself what could he do to, to, to help these birds. And, and he took a lantern, went to his barn and put the lantern inside. But these birds kept on flying into the window pane. Something came to his mind. He said, you know, if I could change myself into a bird, I, I would escort them into the barn. And just about that time, a church bell rang. That's why Jesus came to show us the way. This God of the universe became man. He put on the form of man. Have you given it some thought how he had to strip himself from his glory, walked away from everything, and became man? John 3, 16, God so loved you and I that he gave his only begotten son. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a deep, deep thought. Deep thought. <laughs> Walked away from everything because he loved humanity. He loved humanity. He loved you. He loved me. And I want to go further. I, 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 want to, I, I want you to look at some names in the Bible. I think names are important. Don't you think so? In Genesis chapter 1, we start reading how when God made uh, uh, the earth, the, the world. And, and the first thing that he did here in verse 5, 8, and 10, he says, and he called the light day. Called the light day. Words are important. And then the darkness, he called it night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. And God called the expanse sky. And there was evening and there was morning. There was a second day. And he called the dry ground land. And the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then I want to take it a little further. And here comes Adam on the scene. And he starts naming animals. <laughs> Names, he named them giraffe. And when you look at the giraffe, sure, he's a giraffe. because that long neck. <laughs> You look at a, a monkey, sure, what other name would you give him? That's the name, and that name fits him well. <laughs> Chicken, whatever, horse, doesn't matter, lamb, whatever. Every name that that boy gave him, it fits him well, and, they, and, and you know them, that's, that's what he called them. But that's what, Adam, that's what Adam's job was, to, to give them names. <laughs> ah, names, names. Names often relate to some aspect of one's birth. Uh. My name, you know, is George, <laughs> and, and I was wondering if this name is, Cecilia always reminds me, uh, yeah, yeah, you're George, but you're not King George, so. <laughs> but that's, that's where it kind of, and it also means a, a farmer, it's involved with, with uh, agriculture. I mean, you all, you all know that stuff, and so we dig into your name, there's meanings to your name. Uh, the name Isaac. Literally just means laughter. <laughs> Jacob. Come on, you don't need to have a dictionary for that. Just means deceiver, cheat. <laughs> that's what uh, Jacob meant. Uh, uh, that's what the uh, name Jacob means. And you, if I give you, give you scripture about laughter, uh, Isaac, as Genesis 18, 9 through 15. And then Genesis 21, 1 through 8. Jacob, deceiver. Genesis 27, 36. Moses. Huh. What does the name mean? Drawn out. That's what his name means. Exodus 2 twin. Jabez just means sorry. <laughs> First Corinthians 4, 9 through 10. 
Names and titles often relate to some aspect of one's life or character. If I remember the name, and if I say that name, you'll remember Alexander the, the Great. <laughs> William the Conqueror. <laughs> Simon the Zealot. <laughs> uh, John the Baptist. <laughs> yes, yes. His name is Jesus. This man that was born, his name is Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Just meaning Jehovah saves. That's what the main Jesus means. Jehovah saves. Acts 4.12 says, Salvation is found in no, uh, in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. You can use any name, but there's no other name through which we're going to be saved. <laughs> my, my, my. Have, have you noticed something? I, if, I don't know if you ever had the experience. You, you walk and most probably and you bump your little toe. You walk barefoot in all, at home and you bump your little toe at that coffee table. Ooh. First thing you do, you, mm, you grab that little foot and you... Oh, the first word out of your mouth is Jesus. I wonder why you say, oh, Jesus. Why don't you say, oh, Buddha. Or Muhammad or some other name <laughs> but the first word out of your mouth as a believer is I'm not talking to unbelievers I believe to believers now unbelievers they say something else <laughs> but uh, with believers the first thing is oh Jesus because we know this power in the name Jesus hmm? this evening I was just driving and uh, uh, took a curve a little shop you know I didn't have my glasses on, and so there's some crazy drivers here, here in Lebanon. Lord, help us. I don't know if it's these Californian guys or that moving to this area, but anyway. Uh, but, but uh, and I had to take a sharp turn. The first thing out of Cecilia's mouth is, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I guess it helped. Because <laughs> I slowed down some. <laughs> But, but this, the name, man, it's, it's, oh, there's no salvation in any other name. They can try what they want to try, but there's no salvation, no saving in any other name. There is, listen, there is a wonder in his name. There's what, his name shall be called, what? Wonderful. There's wonder in his name. If you think about it, his birth was wonderful. Listen, wise men came from the east. And I was, uh, read, uh, and I believe that these wise men that came from the east, uh, some 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 guys would tell me they were Chinese. Chinese people came, and it wasn't just uh, 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 they saw a star and then they followed. This was at least two, th th four, three, four years travel. Because when they I remember when they came through, they were here. It was the, the boy was upset and, and, and cunningly. Uh, when you find him, seek diligently, and you come and tell me his whole idea. He uh, he wanted to kill the boy. That's why he made a decree. Remember, from one through four, kill him. <laughs> so they believe it was Chinese people. It it all started with the Tower of Babel, where where, where people were spread, and so. Don't, don't under, uh, there's some books and some reading that you need to uh, catch up with. And, and you'll find that even way back then, that the gospel was preached in China. And thank God for missionaries. And do you know there's more born again people in China than in America? Yes. People are getting saved like you can't believe it. This thing is real, my brother and sister. It's real. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. I tell you, his, <laughs> his birth was wonderful. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. His life was a wonderful life. Look what he did wherever he went, man. His teachings were wonderful. <laughs> they said, we've never heard a man speak like this before. He spoke and the Pharisees and Sadducees, they were dumbfounded. Remember, he's a 12 year old boy, and, and uh, I don't know what kind of parents Mary and Joseph was, but uh, um, he's three, a few days, he's, they don't see the boy. And eventually they had to go back where they last had him, and here they find him, and he's sitting and talking to some religious leaders, and, and uh, wow, and they, they flabbergasted. The, I, I think their jaws are hanging. This fella, and, and they kind of, we've been looking, he says, Don't you know, I must be about my father's business. But they were, the, the wisdom this man had, ah, 
They were amazed at him. <laughs> oh, the wonder, the wonder. Hallelujah. Oh, my, the miracles were wonderful. Open the blinded eyes. Let the deaf hear, let the cripple walk. Listen, Jesus Christ stole the same yesterday, today, and forever. It just didn't happen there and ended there. No, it's still happening here in this house. Amen. It's still happening here. Every Sunday morning, people are getting saved. People are getting healed. There's deliverance. My goodness. Oh, it's still happening because he said, I give unto you power. He didn't hold him to himself. No, he gave it to us. It still works. It still works, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. His transfiguration was wonderful. Remember there on the mountain? When he was transfigured and they saw his disciples, saw the men and, and they saw Moses and Elijah there. Wow, they were blown away. They still want to build some huts. They want to build some churches there. <laughs> yeah. Phenomenal, phenomenal. His death. Look at his death. Many people have an idea they killed him. They never really killed him. He laid down his life. He could have called legions of angels. Huh? But he laid down his slum. He laid down his life. For this reason he came. What a life. What a life. Laid on his life. <laughs> you can see he was a Jewish boy. Because he didn't even have a grave. He borrowed a grave. <laughs> tight, he's tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His resurrection. His resurrection was wonderful. He got up himself. <laughs> he laid down himself and he got up himself. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm. Those ladies that came to see if they can embalm his body. <laughs> and the, 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 the great things. <laughs> we stood there in the line and, and the, the, the Johanna and them told us that there was a, a little sign there at the, at the tomb. I remember where they buried him. There was a sign that said, uh, what does that sign used to say? He's not here. I was looking for that sign, but they said it fell down because of age, and they're going to try and put it back again. But there used to be a sign, he's not here. And it's amazing. <laughs> Do you know people are lining up to go into a place where it says he ain't here? <laughs> it's crazy. They want to go see. <laughs> they don't believe they want to go see. Yeah, if he's still there. He ain't there. <laughs> you go to the other prophets, the, the graves are still there. They're still there. <laughs> but he is up and alive. <laughs> Ha, ma, ma, ma. <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's alive. And listen, listen, listen. <laughs> There's going to be a day when we're going home, all right? You, I think Pastor showed you a clip there about Reynard Bonke, this great man of God, gone home. Body's got to go down into the dust. But I want to tell you, there's going to day, be a day when we're going to hear the trumpet sound. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> and we're going to hear that trumpet sound. And we're going to come up out of the grave. Hallelujah. And, 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 and those that are alive here, you've got to hang on just for a bit. Because you're going to wait. Because they're dead in Christ first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, if I'm not going through the sky, I'm going mm -mm. <laughs> A lot of folks are looking for a hole in the ground. I'm looking for a hole in the sky. But anyway, <laughs> hallelujah. But it's going to be a great resurrection morning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think we're going to be excited to see our loved ones. Don't you think so? Those that will be saved, those that will be born again. And I most probably some of you will have a surprise to see those that made it. And you'll be surprised some of those that didn't make it. <laughs> Mm, yeah, yeah. But oh, what a wonderful Jesus. What a wonderful. His resurrection. His ascension. Look at him. Standing there. Tells his disciples. Go tell them. There's over f f 500 people that saw him. And that day they saw him lifted up with a cloud. They're still hanging around and still looking. <laughs> Angel had to come and say, what you looking at? <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> the same way that he went, he's coming back. He's coming back. And you know what? Sometimes when I drive and I see the beautiful clouds, ooh, I get excited. <laughs> I kind of get happy. So see, they say, what are you getting happy about? <laughs> Any day now. Could you just imagine you step out on the clouds? 
Oh, oh my, my, my. He's going to step out on the clouds one of these days. Hallelujah. And he's going to take us home. Come on, I got to go. I got to go. I got another five minutes left. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's wisdom in his name. It's wisdom in his name because he's counselor. Yeah. Mighty God, counselor. There's wisdom in his name. Psalm chapter 1. Psalm 1. One of my favorite portions of scripture. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You've got to be careful as a believer. Where do you go to? Who you talk to? Trying to find counseling. Everywhere is counseling. They want to count. You need it for counseling. Whatever. Be careful who you counsel with. Who you talk to. Now many times people go to for counseling. And, and they just want somebody to agree with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want me to agree with you, huh? Yeah. But, but, but if we're going to counsel you, you might not like what we're going to say. Because we're going to wrap a little band-aid on a little thing. <laughs> uh, but counsel, he's the wise counselor. A wiser than a Solomon was he. Huh? They could find no fault in this man. Oh, what he spoke was phenomenal, was phenomenal. Ah, he's off. As a counselor, he's always available. You know, you can talk to him every time. He'll direct you. As a counselor, he gives you his undivided attention. Have you ever spoken to somebody? You want to talk to somebody? You know, talk. And, and have you, I don't know if you've noticed that. You talk to somebody, but they're they, they more concerned what's taking place on that side. <laughs> don't you feel you want to kick somebody like that? But I want to tell you, he gives you undivided attention. That's, that's, that's the Jesus. Mm. <laughs> oh. As a counselor, he comforts you. He guides you in the right way. As a counselor, he enables you. Oh, what a, what a God. There is wealth in the name, mighty God. He's mighty God. Hmm. Jesus has been given all power in heaven and on earth. Matthew 28, 18. He created it all. <laughs> incredible, incredible. The Son of God. As the mighty God, He's not less than the Almighty. In Revelation 1, 8, He says, I am Alpha Omega. He says, I am the Lord your God. Who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. Nothing is too hard for him, my brother, sister. He's a mighty God. There is worship in his name because he's everlasting father. He's everlasting father. Uh, see, if you know Jesus, you know the father. As the father, he is a life giver. He has given us his nature. He's given us his nature. <laughs> If he is not God, it would be blasphemy and idolatry to worship him. If he's not God, what we're doing here, worshiping, if he's not God, then what we are practicing here is idolatry. But because he's God, he's God. He's the real deal. Amen. He's the real one. <laughs> Tell you, there is welcome in his name. Because he's the Prince of Peace. He's the Prince of Peace. <laughs> he came to give us rest. Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy, uh, weary and burdened. And he says, I will give you rest. No peace, no, no Jesus, no peace. No Jesus, no peace. No Christ, no Christmas. There we go. <laughs> we were in a store the other day. <laughs> go with Cecilia. And the lady said, happy holidays. I said, no ma'am, it's Merry Christmas. Say, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You've got to challenge people. It's Merry Christmas. Yeah, because remember Christ. We remember Christ. This is not happy holidays. <laughs> because what happy holidays do, people get drunk. Yeah, they make money like they've never made money. Look at the malls. You can't even find a parking place. <laughs> you want to go shop somewhere? You've got to, people break out and fight. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> but he's the prince of peace. Ah. Listen, listen. There's three areas of peace provided for you and I. Peace with God, peace of God, and peace from God. <laughs> there was a lady, a widow woman. She 
buried her husband and uh, she had a tombstone specially made for him and he said rest in peace and when she found out that he left her without his out of his will she added on to those words till I come But he's wonderful. He's counselor. He's mighty God. He's prince of peace. And we are blessed to know him as father. His father. And we love him tonight. Because he gave his one and only son Jesus to die in our stead we have an older brother Jesus Christ Amen. don't you love him yes. uh, it, it's crazy it's, it's a crazy thought but as a young lad I shared this with you most probably in the past as a young lad I was only 12 years old 12 and I remember my daddy he preached somewhere in a house at that dirt floor I had a short gray pants, white shirt. And he preached. What he preached, I cannot tell you. But he made heaven sweet and hell hot. Those people didn't have chairs in the house. I remember that. All that was, I saw a few beds there, and I remember a massive big table. And, and there are two long benches. And one of those benches was used kind of like a mourner's bench. And that night, as a 12 year old boy, I didn't know much. But I felt a conviction and I surrendered my life Amen. to Christ. Somebody came and led me in a sinner's prayer. I tell you, it wasn't lightning and thunder, that, but I know something happened. I knew that. I failed him many times. I failed him many times. But he's been faithful. He's been faithful. Will you help me sing a little song? Oh, come, all he faithful, trial and triumph. Oh, come, he, oh, come, he to Bethlehem. Just hold there, Bethlehem. Bethlehem means house of bread and also house of lambs l-a-m-b lambs sheep this is where we are being fed here this is our bethlehem and it's faithful people that are here tonight you faithful people god has a special blessing for your life tonight you're going to walk out of this place renewed touched rejuvenated and you're going to have a phenomenal rest tonight Come on, let's sing. What's the, the chorus? Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Let's sing, for he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. Are you singing truth? For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. Him, Christ, the Lord. In the heavens, the scripture tells me, and, and I cannot even pronounce these words, but there are angels, seraphims, type of angels. They, all they do, they, what do they do? They, 
they, they fly around. Their feet are covered. They have six wing tapper angels. Huh? And the only job they have is to say, holy, holy, holy. Come, I challenge you. 50, give me 15 seconds if you would. Just tell him how much you love him. Tell him he's worthy. Tell him in your own fashion, in your own type of style of a way. Tell him he's worthy. He's worthy. Tell him that you love him. Thank, thank him that he came. Thank him that he came. Oh, tell him he's wonderful. Oh, tell him he's, he's your counselor. You need anything, you can go to him. He's your counselor. Tell him, tell him about it. Mm. He's everlasting father. That's who he's everlasting father. And on top of it all, he's prince of peace. In this day and time, in these few weeks, when it seems everything is crazy. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy time we're living in. You've got to be careful how you drive. I know some of you don't want to even drive, uh, come to church at night. It's, it's chaotic. I mean, you don't want to even go, want to go to a mall. People shove you out of the way. It's crazy. You get frustrated. But he's our prince of peace. You can take a big, deep breath tonight mm, and let the peace of Almighty God flood your soul. Flood your soul. Oh, <laughs> this is not a good time to have an altar call. But I think if, and I thought of just let pass and just continue. But I wonder if there's somebody here this, this evening, you kind of feel overwhelmed. Just overwhelmed. I heard. Robin speak here and thought uh, when she spoke. I don't know how your situation is financially. <laughs> you got grandbabies, you know. <laughs> Thank God we only got two. Because <laughs> they can become expensive. <laughs> and things happen. It's, you look at your checkbook and it seems as uh, things are crazy. You don't know how we're going to make it feels you upset you're overwhelmed you gotta contain yourself but I'm gonna ask you don't want to embarrass you at all but if you'll have some backbone let us just pray over you come to the front if you would if you would if you would you feel overwhelmed you most probably family's gonna come in and you don't know what you're gonna do they depend on you <laughs> like you gotta put them up at uh, some fancy hotel, motel, whatever they expect you to do, everything, you kind of feel overwhelmed. I'm going to pray that God give you a peace, a peace that passes all understanding. Stand with me, would you? And if you'll take it one step out of your seat, allow me just to pray with you, if that's all right. If everything is fine, all is well, then all is well. But if you, need some, if you need some peace, real peace, I challenge you, come. Come. Hallelujah. 